what a fantastic week it has been on gold XAU USD. Uh, we took several trades, mostly short, and I'll tell you a reason why a little bit later in this video. Uh, but all most of these short um, gave us very good reward to risk ratios, very good uh, profits. And this was the last one that we took um, over Friday um, when the NFP was uh, coming out. And this turned out to be very good trade as well. So uh, first of all, right, you know, let's find out like, you know, what we have done. And then we'll look into like, you know, um, what kind of opportunities that we can have on gold XAUSD in the coming days or coming weeks. So stay tuned. Welcome back to this analysis of gold XAU USD. My name is Vic. I'm the founder of Ikensa Capital Management. Okay, before we proceed any further, what we should do is we should go back and see what we have done in the past week or so, uh, because we must learn from not just from our mistakes, but also from what has been working for us, because we can repeat that in the future as well. So let's see what has been happening. So if I go to Telegram group here, uh, which is telegram channel here this is free and you're most welcome to join here i've been posting um about gold xau usd almost every day i've been like you know guiding on the steps like you know what has been happening and what are the levels and what are the structures or patterns to watch out for so here um, i shared the previous analysis on january 27th and since then First of all, uh, this is what and we search. So I do share some of the what and we search signals as well. So we had this W pattern completing at here, and this what uh, uh, and we search. Uh, target this white dot was reached so when w pattern completes the market was supposed to go down and it did um, here is the w pattern here now when the market was falling down i also talked about this gap here now one thing about gap is that gaps may or may not get filled immediately it depends on the market situations and the times and other stuff and uh, there was a blog post shared in telegram channel here in which i talked about like you know how to read these gaps so you should be able to find that in the telegram channel here but this w pattern worked out very nicely when w pattern completes the market falls so this turned out to be a very good trade and this was the water signal given on that so the market fell down to this particular level here and it kept on falling and uh, reached a particular target here the second target here and then um, after that um, in a couple of days market started to go back up and it started to go towards this liquidity zone which i mentioned in the previous analysis in the previous week's analysis if you haven't watched that analysis go and check that one out so that you can understand what we are um, like you know, where we are right now and this liquidity level is very important why because as i said in the previous analysis or in one of uh, earlier analysis that gold has this tendency of creating double tops triple tops double bottoms and uh, triple bottoms and it usually goes just above them like you know just above the previous high or above these levels uh, above these structures or below these structures to collect the liquidity and then fall down so this is what we were expecting here in this market uh, gold was trying to validate the liquidity zone move above and fall down can happen and almost immediately as soon as the market touched that liquidity zone above the previous high it started to fall down this turned out to be very good uh, trade um, in the in this process it also reached the what and we saw bullish target a white dot and you should be able to see all of this in telegram group by the way and once the market reached this it started to fall down from there because the w pattern completed and the water and we saw signal was also reached um, and then after that, after a couple of days, the market started to go back up into this FCP zone. I mentioned that, you know, this FCP zone has been reached now, which can act as resistance. And uh, there was a W pattern, but there was a news coming. So obviously you need to manage the risk and make sure that you take only those trades, which you're comfortable with. So once the FCP zone has been reached, the market started to fall down immediately from there. And that was the very accurate. These FCP zones and levels were shared in the previous analysis. And then this is the entire thread. After that, what happened? The market started to fall down from that FCP zone. We knew about this, right? And then, um, yeah, so after that, the market went up into 2055 uh, level uh, here. And we took a trade from there. This was very nice trade, which turned out to be very good trade. Um, and it kept on falling for a long period of time. Then after that, the market went into this liquidity area, this double top here. And I mentioned that here, that check out, like, you know, watch out for this liquidity level here. And uh, in, in our Discord room here, 
which is just for FCP students, I mentioned that I gave them early warning that gold was going to go parabolic. And during that time, just before the news, the gold started to rise heavily up and it reached our target of 2060 here. Um, my personal trade was a um, for a profit target of 2060. You see, I've been favoring short positions and I'll tell you why, but you did, it, that does not mean that you cannot take long positions as well. You can take long position depending on the setup, but if your higher time frame analysis is suggesting that market is going to fall down, then you should favor your short positions more. This is the daily time frame, what I research target, like you know, this was reached very nicely. I shared that in public telegram group as well. And I said, like, you know, watch this liquidity area there. This is the same one that I've shared in the public telegram group as well. Right. So this is the liquidity area. I said, like, you know, watch this area around it. Uh, and then after that, the market started to go down. As soon as it hit that target, on that uh, that level started to go down and uh, on friday um i mentioned that i like, can you know, invite anvisa channel uh, which is around here i'll, I'll show you that in a bit uh, before nfp i got a signal on water dashboard that h1 was turning cell and m15 was turning cell um, on by, by the way uh, this water and research dashboard you can configure your markets you can monitor up to 10 markets and you can have the, your own time zones. You can like, you know, you can just say that instead of H4, you can, you want to uh, monitor H1 or M30 or M5 or whatever, like, and you, know, you can configure this. So I was waiting for the market to like, you know, give me some sort of signal here for NFP. Um, and the market was supposed to like, you know, follow that signal. And I gave that signal here based on the water and research here and the market was supposed to fall. And this is how it happened on NFP. So this turned out to be very good trade right from that zone, right above that liquidity area and to the, it fell down by near approximately $30 or so. And the reason behind this is based on this. Um, I posted this on um, LinkedIn as well. The main point here is that, let me go back to chart now. The main point here is that on the monthly time frame so far if you look at it the market has not been able to close above august 2020 um, level here so this was the previous high on august 2020 it did not close above never closed above never closed above did not close above it went above it but never closed above it in not even the month of january and not even the month of february so far so far the market has not been able to close above which means that market has been respecting these levels and whenever the market will come to that they will act as very good strong resistances and that's why i've been favoring short positions i've been taking long positions as well at times like you know, in different and other accounts but i was favoring short positions so most of my analysis or most of my trades that i shared were based on the short positions for that reason okay so what do we expect in the next week or so what i've done is i've already I've already updated this chart to have several levels here, uh, which are important levels, levels and zones. So you should make a note of them. All of these levels can act as support and resistance. And this is also like, you know, I shared in a Telegram group that, you know, most of the traders, they do not read support and resistance properly. See, for example, let's say like, you know, this line, this line is, let's say a support, right? You know, the market went up from there, whatever, right? So if the market comes back down to this level, we can expect that market will bounce up because this is support. But once the market has breached this, once the market has gone through it, it automatically does not become resistance. That is the problem. Most of the traders think that, you know, because the market has breached it or market has broken through it, it will become resistance. No what is the evidence that you have that it has become resistance so for it to become a resistance the market should come back here around this area and reject this once it has rejected and gives you five one of the five confirmation techniques that we have in fcp methodology then only we should sell we always buy at support and we sell at resistance but once the market has gone through it this level is not going to act as resistance unless the market has come back into it and given me an evidence that it has become a resistance support has become actually become resistance then only i will sell not here not here anywhere so all of these levels that i'm giving you all the zones that i'm giving you by the way this is not the premium analysis report or anything but this is very close to that this is how these are the levels that you get in premium analysis so once the market has like you know come into let's say this area this level we can expect a bounce and once the market has broken through it and it performs a retest then this becomes resistance and then we can take a short so we we buy here and we sell here 
So this is how you should place a photo on resistance. So all of these levels, those are based on FCP methodology. All of these levels and zones, you should be able to uh, see them in this video. I'm not going to actually like, you know, just repeat or speak out each and every level. You should be able to see it on the screen and you can refer to this video um, later on once again. Now, in terms of what and visage, this is what happened. Uh, let me show you that. So on what and visage, we had this daily time frame. So what I mentioned in the previous analysis is that this white dot was the initial target. We sell from here. This was the target. The market reached this particular uh, level here. But uh, and if we were expecting market to fall further down into this target below this. However, that did not work out. The market changed its direction and it became positive. It became bullish here. Blue means uh, bullish and it reached this target here. Okay. And this is where we completed the W pattern and the market fell down. Now, if the market continues, if the market continues to go above previous high, it can reach this above target. And if the market continues to fall down, then it can reach this target or this particular target here. Okay, this, this is the daily time frame, so it can take a few days, maybe weeks. Or if the market conditions change, then it's gonna be the day. So you'll have to refer again. Now here, this is the signal that I uh, posted in what we search uh, channel, uh, which is free to join as well. Um, so this was the sell signal, this the stop loss level, and this the profit target. Obviously, it went beyond that uh, in terms of target because of nfp but this was this target was uh, completely like and you know, it was fully met so let me show you um the channel so here's the weekend cfx channel uh, you're free to join this channel and then we have another one and we saw algo channel which is and we saw algo and here i shared that before nfp that you know we were looking for a sell on gold and then we had the signal on one hour time frame and it fell down right into this target that we have got okay so this is what we had um, in terms of analysis and uh, kind of educational content so hope you enjoyed this analysis and if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel share it with other traders and trading communities and uh, you're free to uh, join those telegram groups as i said and i'll see you in the next one have a great trading week thank you for watching find and follow us on these social media channels